How's it going everybody? Christian from Treasure Town here and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different type of video. Something that I look forward to bringing to you but I've been trying to expand and use the coin shop that I work in as a way to get some cool items for you on the channel and you know talk about coin history and coin information. So today we have a soft pack or flat pack of a GSA United States dollar. It is not a CC dollar but it's an uncirculated Morgan dollar with a really cool history behind it. So I'm going to try to keep the video short in the grand scheme of things, but some cool coin info. We're going to be talking about values, pricing, what they are, what the whole deal is, and you know what are you looking at? What makes this flat pack special and more valuable than a regular uncirculated, in this case, 1883-0 Morgan Silver dollar? So here is more on the GSA Morgan dollar, and this is the flat pack, so it's not going to be the boxed version. I'd love to make a video on that once I get some of those. I think that we have some in the store, so maybe I'll do that soon. But basically, in the 60s, the government was winding down the exchange of silver certificates for silver dollars. So they're trying to get rid of their supply of silver dollars, and they started releasing them to the public. They would sell them. I think that you could get the CC Carson City Mint ones for about $5 each. And I think that they sold flat packs for $3 each. I'm not an expert on that process at the moment. However, I know that what happened was the General Services Administration, they had all of these, or the government rather, had all of these CC Mints. So they were thought to be extremely rare before this release. They ended up releasing all of them and it obviously brought down their rarity in a big way. But one of the more little known aspects of the whole deal is that they had these flat packs and what is in these are often non-CC Morgan dollars. So they're still going to be uncirculated and I'm going to open this up and they're going to be uncirculated Morgan dollars, but they're not going to be the CC. So here we'll read this little thing. It says this historic coin is a 90% silver United States dollar. It was offered in a group of coins containing circulated specimens. And that's also kind of funny because if you check out this coin, it is not circulated. And so circulated specimens of both Morgan and Peace dollar designs at a minimum bid price of $3. It is a memento of a bygone era as the last 90% silver dollar was minted in 1935. The U.S. government no longer mints silver coins for circulation. This issuance by General Services Administration of the last of the government's holdings of 90% silver dollars will serve for millions of Americans as cherished mementos of our nation's history. And I totally agree with that, but I think it's kind of funny. They say circulated. That generally means that there was just a little bit of wear on the coin. I mean, here there's a little spot of toning, but I doubt that that was kind of what made this get into one of these holders. But anyways, this is the 90% circulated silver U.S. Dollar. So really cool, and there's some market for these. This specific coin is the 1883-0. I think I mentioned that, but I mean, as you can see, that's definitely uncirculated. Would probably grade, I don't know, maybe a 62, 63, 64, whatever. But the point is, is that this is definitely going to be worth more than if the coin was just raw. So on eBay, I was doing a little bit of price research, and one of these bid up to about 72 bucks, and they're on eBay. They're going for like 120 to 150 dollars in terms of what you can buy one for. I know we have ours, this specific one, actually up for about 120 dollars. However, that is going to be more than a regular 1883-0 uncirculated dollar. For example, you would be talking about. 40 to 45, 50 bucks in the 60 to 63 range. And, you know, in the 64 range, you might get about a $75 mark for this coin. I think that the selling price is probably between $100 and $130 on this specific Dateman mark combo. But it's a cool coin with some uh, very nice toning, in my opinion. You see it a little bit there. That, you know, some people might not love that. But, you know, the point is, this is worth more because it's in this GSA flat pack, having this history of being part of the special release and it's something to look out for. I know that some people collect these. Now it's important to note there are some dates that are much more rare than others. Do a little research if you have some of these as sometimes there will be a coin that may not be super rare on its own but in one of these historic flat packs can actually have its value raised quite dramatically. You know, if they only made five or 10, you know, put them in the flat packs, that's going to be some seriously valuable stuff. While the 1883-0, 1884-0, 1885-0 
are not going to be quite as valuable just because of their abundance in these flat packs. So that's going to conclude this video. Hope you learned a little something and keep an eye out. They're kind of innocuous. Sometimes you might mistake them for one of the Eisenhower dollars, which are also in, you know, they're packaged similarly. It'll be like uncirculated silver Eisenhower dollar. You'll probably manage to take a look, but this Morgan dollar is certainly better than a 40% uncirculated silver Eisenhower dollar. So check your blue envelopes and I hope that you find one. If you do end up finding one or find one that is a specifically rare date, I'd love for you to tell me. Always like to hear that. I'm going to be starting a new series of vlogs. I'm going to try to do that monthly, maybe a little more frequently if they're popular, but likely monthly and just check in, give community updates and that type of thing. So that's where one of the things that I'm looking forward to going forward. Thanks for watching the video. I'd encourage you to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and connect with me, whether it's on Instagram at TreasureTownYT, Reddit at rtreasuretownyt, or at, on my website, treasuretownyt.com. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of my other videos.